Hello everyone, I'm Max Nahutin, Asana team lead at Cloudfresh, and today we are diving into Asana workload, a powerful feature from Asana that help project managers and teams more effectively distribute workload. This tool is key to successful resource management, ensuring no one is overwhelmed with tasks and everyone can achieve their objectives. So to find the workload in Asana, you need to go to Portfolios and choose Yours, and then you will find here the Workload tab. Asana Workload provides you a clear visual overview of each team member's workload, making it easy to identify who is overloaded and who can take on more tasks. To make Asana count the time for users is a need uh, to use time custom fields in projects for estimated time and set up it as an effort. I've already done it uh, in uh, this portfolio for better view, but in blank new portfolios you need to click an edit effort, then choose your numeric or time custom field, for example it should be estimated time, and then Asana will ask you if uh, such a custom field is missing in some of your projects in this portfolio, uh, there will be possible to add it from this window, such a custom field there. When the effort is added, then there is a need to set the capacity for entire team or you can apply uh, some some specific capacity per per some team members. When the main thing's done, you can choose the suitable view for you. For example, zoom in or zoom out uh, such your work. Then you can filter it by any of uh, your teammates. Uh, also, you can color the tasks uh, on drill down and view uh, with any of colors of custom fields fro from the projects inside this portfolio. For example, to highlight statuses or priorities of uh, if it if it's needed. So, uh, how it works? Uh, here we over specific day column header to view multiply team members' total tasks or estimated hours on a given day. Hover over a person's name to see their total task count or effort over time. Then uh, drill down view provides you a vision of a task per team member across all projects at the timeline. And its main view for you, for you managing the work. When you choose hours as effort, they are divided over any days they are spread over. If you have a task that takes more than one day to complete, Effort will be split evenly over weekdays, speaking we weekends for sure, like uh, it's happened with these tasks. For example, the tasks uh, that have uh, five hours uh, over two day over two days, let it be like here, mm, and task goes from Friday to Monday, it will be a uh, uh, two and a half hours on Friday and two and a half hours on Monday. If someone has an overload, Achsana highlights their line in red for you to let you know to pay attention here. For example, like here with Emmy. Uh, in this case, you can uh, easily drag and drop the tasks from one team member to another one like I'm doing like that, or you can just provide more time for this task, drag and drop, dropping its time period. Or if it's needed, you can even open the tasks and ask the assignee about their scheduling. Also, at this view, we see the number of subtasks of a particular task directly from a workload. Here it is. This task has a five subtasks and here is eight. Also, there is a special feature for managing unscheduled tasks. Or if you will have uh, tasks without an assignee, these tasks will appear in the last line at this view and you can assign this also uh, at this window. So nothing is missed. So that's all from my side uh, right now. Wish you all have a great day. Bye.